Welcome, my dear friends. Myself, Professor Dr. Rajendra Raghuveer Deshpande from Pune, Maharashtra State, India. I would like to welcome you all in my this particular lecture related with the Swastha Vrutta subject. Swastha Vrutta in the modern medical science, it is called as a PSM, Preventive Social Medicine. Uh, preventive. Because you know prevention is better than cure. Pratibandha karenge to jada achcha rehta hai. So this particular subject, the more of the contents are very, very useful for the common man. So if you are the viewer and don't having the student, but don't, please don't go. Please stay, stay there. Because this lecture is useful for everybody. Rather, Swastha each and every topic is for the society. Because Swastha is a healthy person and Vrutta is a information. So how to remain healthy is given in this whole subject. So each and every topic of Swastha Vrutta should be taught to the common man also. So this lecture is for students, for the doctors, for the professors and for the common man. So please stay till the last minute of this one hour because it will give you a lot of information about important disease that is leprosy which is also called as a Hansen's disease. My dear friend, few days back, I think in the Roga Nidana subject on the Monday, I have discussed in that lecture, which is already uploaded, the Kushtha Vyadhi in Ayurveda. The name of the disease in Ayurveda is a Kushtha. But that Kushtha is not only leprosy. That word used in the Ayurveda, Kushnati Vapuhi Iti Kushtam, all the skin problems are included in that particular Kushta Vyadhi. There are two types, Maha Kushta, Kshidra Kushta. So in the Maha Kushta, many of the leprosy types are incorporated. So this is very interesting. Ayurveda also has a similar concept of the skin disease and this is important skin disease because this is contagious. It can spread from one person to another. Okay, but we are looking towards it as a, a, what you can say, the preventive and social medicine, as a social uh, public care. Okay, so let us start. What is this leprosy in detail? As this is the style of Dr. Deshpande, he always marked the screen and so that the viewer can concentrate the words. Leprosy is also called as a Hansen. This is the name of the scientist. This is a chronic infection. Remember, chronic infectious disease infection from one person to another and chronic. So treatment should be given minimum for six months, eight months, etc. Like tuberculosis. Okay. This is caused by mycobacterium lepri. There was mycobacterium tuberculosis. Here mycobacterium, the same category, lepri. This is the name of the organism. And the most important feature are one is anywhere in the body, especially on the back on the abdomen, on the extremity, hypopigmented patch, your normal color of the skin goes. And it is like a, not exactly whitish, but the basic color goes and it is called as a hypopigmented patches. Usually it starts with one patch, but it spreads. Partial or total loss of cutaneous sensation. The most important feature. If you give the pin prick on that particular area, Patient will not understand that is pinning, that is paining. No, no, no sensation. So hypopigmented patch with loss of sensation is only leprosy. There should not be confusion because many times I know the small children, they have the small white, sorry, hypopigmented patches here and there. Everything hypopigmented is not leprosy. Most of the problems with children of 8, 10 years, if they have hypopigmented patches, it indicates he, that child, maybe male or female, has a worms in the abdomen, round worm, thread worm, hook worm, tape worm. So it's an indication of the worm. It is also called as pitriasis alba. Pitriasis alba. Okay. Another cause for hypopigmented is fungal infection. It's like tiniasis or tinea versicolor. Tinea versicolor. 
these are the names of the diseases skin problems where hypopigmentation is there but no loss of sensation so don't take tension oh sir 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 i have hypopigmented back give the pin prick if it is paining no leprous don't worry be happy okay so this is very important presence of thickened nerves it affects also nervous tissue presence of acid fast bacilli in the skin biopsy is taken or nasal smear a small swab is taken in advanced stages when you don't treat it presence of nodules or lumps in the skin aise bahut thabbe aa jate ha like tumor ha ears then plantar ulcers loss of fingers loss of fingers or toes nasal depression goes inside nasal depression foot drop claw toes can be seen so these are the dangerous complications if leprosy is not treated there will be disability there will be aesthetic cosmetic problem and the person will look ugly but this is only if you don't treat it if you treat it it is 100% curable leprosy 100% curable so don't afraid the leprosy person will not die it is not a fatal disease like rabies so don't take tension but what is important whenever there is hypopigmented patch test for the pin prick if sensation is not there immediately immediately go to the doctor dermatologist skin specialist and confirm whether you have the leprosy or not prevention is better than cure so don't worry about leprosy we have fantastic 100% curable medicines so nothing to be worried about lepra is a greek word can you see how that particular word has been developed greek word this is original greek word this means scaly so leprosy disease was previously confused differential diagnosis it may be psoriasis but that means it was confusion because the original word is like a scale you know the scales on the fish so it may be psoriasis it may be elephantiasis hatti rog hmm? it may be the pellagra so these was these were confusions when biopsy facility was not there but when biops and also they start in psoriasis you will get the sensation in elephantiasis you will get the sensation in pellagra you will get the sensation but in leprosy no sensation afterwards it was very clear now the diagnosis is 100% okay in india leprosy was known again see the confusion again see the confusion in india in sanskrit in marathi in hindi the word is kushtha rog in the primary health center phc walls there were always a painting in marathi i will tell you kushtha rogi kalwa 1000 rupaye melwa intimate us to the government the patient of leprosy if you know and take 1000 rupees check from the government why because the government was wanted that the intimation of leprosy patient should be immediately conveyed to the uh, this government my dear friends when i remember this kushta leprosy please note down on the google search you can do dr baba amate a m a t e or dr prakash amate please write down these names these are the names in india and the global they are famous for their extraordinary work extraordinary work with relation to the leprosy dr late dr baba amte and now he is present a son dr prakash amte and all the family they have developed in maharashtra state one locality which is called as anandavana anandavana very interesting name they collected all the lepro leprosy patients at this particular place treated them very nicely 
made them self reliant swavalambi and they are doing their different jobs occupations leprosy patients because in the society they don't look towards the leprosy patient very good uh, by uh, nature they say oh leprosy oh keep away keep away but no baba amte said you are our brothers and sisters so they treated these leprosy patients very courteously very sympathetically and they form their society still it is their anandavan society you search on the google you will get a lot of information both baba amte and prakash amte they have got the world famous maxese award for their extraordinary social work with related to the today's topic leprosy so i think this is the most valuable information which you may not get even in your regular college classes so this is dr deshpande's you know the passion of teaching and how the subject should be taught to the society okay let us move further it was known kushta rog but in ayurveda kushta means all skin diseases and again myth m y t h it was supposed supposed it was not correct to be caused by punishment or curse from the god do you understand at that time they were not knowing any mycobacterium leprae organisms biopsy no 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 then they were confused why this is they say no okay because because it is god's curse that was not correct that is a myth uh, rather uh, blind uh, what is andhashraddha okay blind faith in 1873 hansen of norway see the country norway hansen discovered this organism mycobacterium leprae sulfon drugs were introduced in the treatment of leprosy from 1943 in the decade of 1980 leprosy control was done with multi drug therapy because increased evidence of dapsone resistant cases of leprosy again for aiapget the one word they will ask you which is the best medicine for leprosy from from years together which is the only one medicine tell me dapsone don't forget write down d a p s o a n e dapsone leprosy dapsone leprosy say 100 times but gradually it was very very still it is very useful but still some patients they are not getting enough results with only dapsone so multi drug therapy is started okay next as we are talking about psm there is one always word don't forget this word because this word will not come in the medicine this will not come in the pathology this word problem statement is only in the swastha vrutta subject in 1991 world health organization decided yes we should reduce leprosy by 90% previously the success was more because there was very less chances that the again disease will start relapse it is called as a relapse okay again cure again disease cure again disease high fever rates absence of drug resistance and short span treatment with multi drug treatment so previously it was good in the beginning of the 2008 the leprosy cases in the world were can you see the number 2 lakh 12802 okay now i have to move my cursor on the right side as usual my dear friends so now what is the today's situation can you see today's situation here problem statement of leprosy we are talking about leprosy highest problem of leprosy is in six countries india is one of them india is there brazil can you see indonesia Myanmar, Bangladesh, and Nepal—all developing countries. No developed countries has this particular infection. Try to understand. Infectious diseases are more common in developing countries than developed countries. But 
ओवर न्यूट्रिशन प्रॉब्लम आर मोर इन डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज एंड वेरी लेस प्रॉब्लम इन द डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज दिस इज समथिंग इंटरेस्टिंग पार्ट द ऑफिस ऑफ द ग्लोबल लेप्रसी प्रोग्राम दैट ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड दैट मेन हेड ऑफिस शिफ्टेड फ्रॉम जिनिवा टू न्यू दिल्ली वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग इट वॉज प्रीवियस इट वॉज इन जिनिवा नाउ इन द न्यू दिल्ली इन जुलाई टू थाउजेंड फाइव the main principle of leprosy control what are the how you decide first early detection of the new cases and treatment with multi drug therapy not only one drug two three drugs in india 29 states have secured the level of elimination of leprosy yes we should be proud of it 29 states example Jammu Kashmir no leprosy Kerala very less Maharashtra very less leprosy patient now because of the proper detection proper diagnosis proper treatment now again this is a subject of PSM or swastha vrutta there is a consideration of epidemiological factors this is very common to understanding purpose epidemiology number one agent who is causing leprosy why leprosy is there leprosy is caused by acid fast bacilli m lepri this particular bacilli has a very attraction towards the schwann cells in the brain and cells of reticulo endothelial system okay lepromatous and borderline lepromatous patients are most vital source of infection try to understand okay then nose is a main organ of exit of organism this is very important so if somebody has a cold or sneezing and he uh, like a uh, take out his phlegm from the nose it will spread to the uh, society that organisms will spread through the nasal uh, discharge lepromatous patients harbor they have many organisms in their nasal mucosa they are discharged when the patient sneezes <laughs> immediately that um, organisms will come out to blow the nose organisms also can shed away another source by ulcerated or broken skin of the patient uh, ulcer or broken skin the organisms will go out although leprosy is very infectious the treatment of dapsoon for 90 days that is 3 month or 3 week course of rifampicin this is another drug which is also used in tb patients rifampicin so don't forget these names i request i will pause one second write down immediately these two names one is a dapsoon for 3 month and rifampicin for 3 weeks makes the patient non infectious great achievement by the antibiotics by the anti micro uh, microorganisms medicines anti lepromatous medicines so please take the advantage please take the advantage many people many students they ask me especially such type of the cases what sir do you believe that it can be cured 100% by the ayurveda i say sorry we do not have the sufficient documentation that Uh, with ayurvedic medicine that 100% lepromatous uh, organisms will go away so i always suggest in such uh, what you can say the complicated type of the problem take the advantage of the research so make a integration of course you can give the supportive treatment to get early results number one and second to prevent the relapse this is most advantage by the ayurvedic uh, medicines now we have talked about the organisms that is enemy and now we will talk about the host that means we human being leprosy is acquired usually in the childhood children are more susceptible be careful the notable point is youngest patient of leprosy was see what the statistics is telling or the uh, history is telling two and half month old from south india remember this much small child has also got the leprosy the disease is higher in males than in females 
immunity plays a vital role in curing the disease. This is my statement, all the, all the lectures I say. Not only leprosy, my dear friends, from cold to cancer, cold means running of the nose and flu. From cold to cancer, immunity is the most important part in any disease. Any disease, immunity, your own vyadikshamatva, fighting capacity. And that is why there is an importance of Ayurvedic lifestyle. Ayurvedic guidance about the diet. Ayurvedic guidance about exercise. We, why we go, we should go to the Ayurveda to learn this preventive aspect and to build up our immunity. Why we are taking Chavan Praj? We want that our body should be strong enough because organisms are everywhere. Of course, we have to take the other precautions also. Suppose you have a strong immunity and always you are eating on the roadside food. Any day you can get the infection of cholera and typhoid and jaundice. That precautions are necessary. But in general, you can prevent yourself by building your immunity. Cell-mediated immunity is mainly concerned with the resistance of leprosy. Increase of immunoglobulins. These are the antibodies. Like IgG and IgM are seen towards the lepromatous end. If you check the blood, these immunoglobulins will be raised more on the higher side. Next. This is the leprosy and we are talking about Swasthavrutta or PSM subject. Environmental conditions. Humidity is favorable for the survival of lepromatous lepri. This organism remains viable in the dried nasal secretions from minimum 9 days and moist soil at the room temperature for 46 days. See how much long they are living in the moisture. Overcrowding and lack of ventilation are sub support you to catch the infection. So it is very simple. If you want to protect yourself from the leprosy, avoid to go to the overcrowded places. Simple thing. And second, whenever, wherever you are living, you see that ventilation of the rooms, ventilation of the house is very good. Mode of transmission. How it is spread? Droplet infection. Leprosy can be transmitted by droplet infection because nose is a portal of exit. And second, with the ulcer, person to person contact. Transmission occurs. Now I have to go on the second page. Just a moment. By a close contact, person to person, between an infectious patient and susceptible person whose immunity is low. Contact with the soil. How? Sir, ye kaisa hota hai? Jab hum barefoot chalenge, paad, हमारे पैरों में कुछ जूते वगैरह नहीं पहनेंगे पहनेंगे तो सोइल में से अपने आपके पैरों को कुछ अल्सर है तो घुस जाएंगे एंड फोमिटस दैट इज कंटामिनेटेड क्लोथ एंड लिनेन तो व्हेनेवर द पेशेंट इन योर हाउस इज इंफेक्शियस द वॉशिंग ऑफ हिज क्लोथ्स बेड शीट्स शुड बी डेफिनेटली सेपरेट बिकॉज़ दीस आर द इनडायरेक्ट वेज ऑफ ट्रांसमिशन आल्सो एवरीबॉडी शुड नोट that all the time skin to skin contact is not necessary to get the infection because the first lesion were found in feet and legs of the patient from hilly areas in india here skin injury is common so take care that your skin should be well protected well preserved and there should not be any injury now transmission we are talking about transmission bacilli Mycobacterium lepri can be transmitted by insect vectors or tattooing needles. So be careful while you make some tattoos. Huh? It, the place should be very authentic. It should be very clean, neat, decent, hygienic. Again, if you do all these things in the malls and in the shops, on the road, that is very dangerous. Anything can happen. You can get hepatitis B, you can get HIV. Anything can happen, my dear friend. So be careful. Incubation period from 3 to 5 years 
or more for lepromatosis. Very dangerous. That means even if you get the infection, the symptoms will start occurring. You will not even understand why I am getting this problem. Because before three years, the organisms has entered into your body and now showing the symptoms. Prefer the word latent period in spite of incubation period. What is the difference? Because latent period is a period where the organisms are keeping quiet themselves. And when the person's immunity by any way goes down, immediately they start proliferating, multiplying, multiplying, and the symptoms will start. Classification. We are talking about the classification of the disease leprosy. Today we are discussing the leprosy. Don't forget this, the name of the topic because the lecture is going forward and forward and the students are not remembering what we are studying. Leprosy. Good. So there are only four types. First, Indian classification, of course. Interminate type, sorry, indeterminate type. Number two, tuberculoid type, borderline and lepromatous. This is the most dangerous. This is something mild, moderate, severe, severe. Okay. In undeterminate one or two hypopigmented macule, what is the difference in macule? Macule is the level of the skin. Papule is raised level of the uh, pathological patch. Papule. Then pustule. Pus is inside. So macule, papule, pustule. Try to understand these skin lesions, skin problems. There will be definite sensory loss. Lesions are bacteriologically negative. When you do the biopsy, you will not get the organism. So indeterminate. It is not stamped. Then tuberculoid type. That means clinically the patient is definitely of leprosy. But diagnosing by investigation, still he is not stamped. Tuberculoid type 1 or 2 flat or raised hypopigmented or erythematous anesthetic patches. Also bacteriologically negative. Still they are negative. But the patches number are increased. Okay, now borderline. Four or more flat, that is macule or raised papule, hypopigmented or erythematous red color. Anesthetic loss of sensation, no prick sensation. They show various positive microscopic finding. Now biopsy is positive, bacteriological examination. Lepromatous, most important is that just a moment. I will just make the screen up and mark the next point for you here, my dear friends. Most important, these patients are bacteriologically strong positive. Symmetrical, right hand, left hand, right back, left back. Symmetrical lesions with many, many, many flat or raised. Poorly defined, borderline is not clear. Shiny, smooth, but important is anesthetic. No prick sensation, anesthetic patches. Pure neuritic. The leprosy patient shows more nerve involvement. Neuritic means nerve, N E R V E, nerve. Chetana dhatu. Uh, nerves affect ho jate hai, but with, without any skin lesion. These patients are bacteriologically maybe negative or rather negative. Now, we are talking, sorry, we are, will discuss about the clinical classification of WHO. First is possibacillary leprosy, 1 to 5 skin lesions. The category includes three subtypes, intermediate, polar tuberculoid and borderline tuberculoid. Then there is a multibacillary leprosy. This is more dangerous. More than 5 patches, they are again polar lepromatous, borderline lepromatous and mild borderline. Okay. Now we will shift on the right side of the screen and we'll try to discuss further. Okay. So just give a few seconds. We are discussing the PSM, preventive and social medicine and the today's topic is a leprosy. Today's topic is leprosy. My dear friends, diagnosis of leprosy. In clinical examination, in the our clinic, in the dispensary, in the hospital, Case taking is most important. In interrogation, family history of leprosy. Is there anybody in your family is suffering from or has suffered from leprosy? 
history of contact with the leprosy patient history of any previous treatment of leprosy to see whether it is a relapse coming again relapse presenting symptom should be asked in physical examination detailed inspection of the whole body in good natural light is expected to find out any hypopigmented anesthetic patch no pin prick my dear friends here you must understand that usually the ideal dermatologist while examining male or female patient when there is a female female attendant is there female doctor is there they usually check your whole body by keeping minimal necessary undergarments on your body whole body is naked that is important to find out the small or this this type of the patches okay so this dermatological examination is something different than what we do our regular practice so dermatological examination should be little bit bold but appropriate proper what you can say the ethical code of conduct by lady assistant lady doctors whatever it may be okay but natural light is important in the night it ought not a proper diagnosis ask the patient to come again on the second day okay peripheral and cutaneous nerves are palpated like this palpated for the presence of thickening or tenderness commonly palpated nerves is the ulnar nerve okay near the median epicondyle near the medial epicondyle can you see medial epicondyle huh? near ulnar nerve you have to check greater here here greater auricular nerve over sternomastoid muscle here 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 hmm? sternomastoid muscle lateral popliteal these are the nerves dorsal branch of the radial nerve now we will talk about the leprosy what test can be done for the diagnosis purpose okay so let us mark this portion for understanding test loss of sensation for the heat cold pain and light touch is suspected skin patches in suspected skin patches but remember that not all the hypopigmented patches show sensory loss also note paresis of the muscle of the hand paresis of the muscle of the feet which can lead to the disabilities dependency on the other or deformities bacteriological examination or the skin smear can diagnose the multi bacillary leprosy and of course then we can differentiate from the osi bacillary leprosy material from the skin is obtained from the active lesion and from both the ear lobules here very important both the ear lobules hmm, can you see by the slit and scrap method specific technique is there nasal smears nasal smears can be prepared from early morning mucus material untreated lepromatous leprosy nose blow smear nose blow smear can show a higher percentage of bacilli than the skin smear during the treatment mycobacterium leprosy lepri can disappeared from nasal mucosa before they disappeared from the skin smear skin or the nasal smear is stained by zill nelson method kindly wrote, note down this zill nelson method because it is again asked in the aia pget in the entrance examination of md or ms there is a definitions numbers some typical words are very important for the multiple choice question mcq so zill nelson method is always asked next we will discuss about the leprosy from the point of psm and this is the topic bacterial index how many organisms are there this is only objective way of monitoring the benefit of treatment for this ridley's logarithmic scale a specific mathematical scientist has discovered the gradation is as follows zero what is zero the number of bacilli in any of oil emulsion filled is 
like that zero one plus one to ten bacilli in hundred oil emulsion field you know that in the microscope there is a uh, three types of the objective lenses huh? so accordingly low power high power and oil emulsion these organisms are tested oil emulsion less lens is used okay two plus one to ten bacilli in the ten oil emulsion fields three plus when there is a two to ten bacilli in each oil emulsion field four plus ten to hundred bacilli in each oil emulsion field five plus hundred to one thousand bacilli in each oil emulsion field and six plus more than one thousand bacilli in each oil emulsion field. don't worry student don't worry you just remember this sequence 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 remember only numbers 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and add 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus and only write that the organisms number is increased in a ascending order huh? remember these words bacterial index is calculated by adding the scale or index from each site examined and dividing by total number of sites examined okay so i will have to shift my cursor and we will move for the next page that is a this thing leprosy control now we will discuss about leprosy control just give me again one second the program includes the different medical managements like early case detection is most important कुष्ठ रोगी कलवा एक हजार रुपये मिलवा दैट इज वाई देर इज अनाउंसमेंट बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑलवेज इंटीमेट इंटीमेट एंड चेक द पेमेंट फ्रॉम अस बिकॉज अर्ली केस डिटेक्शन मल्टी ड्रग थेरपी इम्युनो प्रोफिलैक्सिस गिव द एंटीबॉडीज केमो प्रोफिलैक्सिस इवन यू कैन गिव सम टैबलेट्स लाइक डेप्सोन डिफॉर्मिटीज यू हैव टू प्रिवेंट द डिफॉर्मिटीज मैनेजमेंट ऑफ रिहेबिलिटेशन हेल्थ एजुकेशन एंड सोशल सपोर्ट दीज आर ऑल द थिंग्स one has to do to manage this leprosy random sample survey are sufficient to collect the baseline data from the society this is statistics survey survey is most important tool t w o l tool of the statistics epidemiology we are learning epidemiology we are learning epidemiology of leprosy we have already covered the many diseases malaria we have covered tuberculosis we have covered videos are there please check each and every video such a energetic explanation okay due to the social stigma very important many patients are afraid to disclose themselves always they don't go to anywhere and don't tell anybody but afterwards whenever the finger starts following there are deformities immediately everybody is at but that is too late t double o too late so that's why this lecture is telling you take home message if there is hypopigmented patch on anybody's body in anybody's family member don't afraid don't shy go to the doctor check for leprosy even if it is a leprosy nothing to be worried about 100% cure is there no fatal it is not like hiv to be get ashamed of it is a bacterial infection it is not your fault it is not your fault so why to worry why to take tension go to the doctor okay so it is necessary to devise active methods of case detection case finding methods include contact surveys group survey by screening of the preschool children school children people living in the slums industrial laborers world health organization had a standard computer based pro forma for the data collection from individual patient so anybody can check the who site and take this pro forma leprosy is an iceberg disease very important one few cases are there but there may be thousands and lakhs cases that we have not detected our problem everybody's problem is to find out the sub clinical cases from the society where the symptoms are not very clear yet now how we can control another some measures so effective chemotherapy is called as a secondary prevention these words are important 
First, we have talked about prevention, primary prevention. This is secondary prevention. Is an important step for leprosy control because we don't have a leprosy vaccine. Please write down this statement. We don't have leprosy vaccine. Only early detection, start the treatment. Chemotherapy of leprosy depends upon the drug dapsone, that is DDS, for a longer time. In these years, there is a drug resistant to the dapsone. So, which drugs we are using? Short explanation of bacterocidyl. Can you see this word? Bacterocidyl means to killing the bacteria. What is another pharmacological word? Yes, bacteriostatic. Bacteriostatic, just to control, but cidyl, killing. Dapsone, that is DDS. The drug is used all over the world, nearly 30 years. Very cheap, but very effective. Well tolerated, no side effects. Dose 1 to 2 milligram per kg body weight. If side effects, what are that? Sometimes hemolytic anemia. So every after one month, you can check your hemoglobin. Hepatitis, every second month, you can go for liver function test. Peripheral neuropathy, if the patient is having tingling numbness, go to the doctor, he will may prescribe you B-complex and lepra reaction. Sometimes, DDS, that is Dapsone syndrome, group of the symptoms may develop. It's like a reaction. So very few patients, they will get fever, enlarged lymph node, axillary, etc., cervical, and exfoliative dermatitis, skin problem. This is lepra reaction. Next medicine is rifampicin. Next two medicines we are discussing after Dapsone for the leprosy. RMP, rifampicin, this is the only drug having high very high killing bactericidal action. Sorry, rifampicin is costly. Little bit costly, but in government hospital free. Government hospital free, remember. But private, yes, it is expensive, but safe. Toxic effects sometimes, abdominal pain, vomiting. Patient should be kept under observation at least for one hour after giving the drug. First dose, of course, because of the shock and collapse very rarely may occur. Next drug for the leprosy, clofazimine. Clofazimine. Clofazimine, CLF, originally synthesized for the treatment of TB. Further, it is seen that although the drug has less effective than Dapsone, it has advantage in suppressing and preventive reactions. This is also expensive drug. Okay. My dear friends, we are studying leprosy. We are studying the leprosy as a Swastavrutta subject or PSM subject. Okay. And we are talking about the different medicines. Now, what is the WHO recommendations? For multi-bacillary leprosy, given by the World Health Organization, rifampicin is used 600 milligram once in a month. Please write down. This is also asked in the AIA PGET, the dose and the details. Dapsone 100 milligram daily. Clofazimine 300 milligram once only in a month and 50 milligram daily. So these particular schedule, schedule should be remembered by the students and even in the, our practice. Okay. So multi-drug treatment is there. Not only Dapsone, but Rifampicin and clofazimine is there. For bacillary leprosy, Rifampicin is given 600 milligram once in a month for six months. Same like here. Can you see here? But more time. Under supervision and Dapsone 100 milligram daily for six months. Okay. Both above treatments are given in the primary health centers and government hospitals. The ready-made kits supplied by the government. Now we will talk about the lepra reaction. When you are started the treatment, immunologically 
mediated episode of acute or subacute inflammation can occur that is known as a lepra reaction peripheral nerve trunks are often involved unless we give the immediate treatment of lepra reaction permanent deformities can occur in the patients so reaction are of two types type 1 or reversal reaction and type 2 that is erythema nodosum leprosum that is irreversible the drug choice is of course steroids prednisolone on the first day 40 mg once in a day then continued for two weeks the dose should be tapered of every after two weeks this is most important for the steroid always dose tapering slowly uh, when one tds then one bd then only once step by step you have to come down clofazimine is also effective in the particular type of this reaction that is type 2 erythema nodosum leprosum but it is less powerful than the corticosteroid now surveillance we are talking about the leprosy this is surveillance first is about the ossibacillary leprosy observation is expected at least once in a year for next two years after completion of treatment one has to observe these patients for further few years multibacillary leprosy must be examined at least once in a year for a period of five years remember because relapse is more common in this variety this is this is mild this is severe five years after completion of the treatment next is a prophylaxis we are talking about leprosy disease epidemiology of leprosy is a today's topic we are nearly end of our lecture nothing to be worried huh? be happy prophylaxis bcg vaccine can give some protection not 100 percent clinical leprosy dapsone in a dose of one to four milligram per kg per week can give protection in child which gave by chance get the contacts for 35 to 45 percent injection acidapsone three injections at interval of 10 weeks huh, can be given to cover a period of two one days so these are is not really the vaccine but these are some medicines which can use as a preventive measures deformities 25 percent of the patients who have not received treatment in the early stage can develop deformities bad luck for example face deformities are like mask face very ugly looking face mask face faces leonina sagging face the typical names leonina sagging face loss of eyebrows or the lashes depressed nose and ear deformities so remember these deformities deformities of the hands are the claw hands wrist drop and ulcers so my dear friends we have to shift on the left side of the cursor and we will move for the next information about leprosy okay deformities of the feet what are the another another deformities we are discussing about deformities huh? for looking ugly deformities of the feet are plantar ulcers foot drop neurological problem swollen foot and callosities disabilities can be prevented by taking proper care of dry denervated skin of the palms and soles preventing injuries to the hands and feet by gloves protection of the eyes etc if deformity occurs what to do yes there is a plastic surgery use of prosthesis and orthopedic devices can improve the situation in the disabilities rehabilitation is a very important part of leprosy control rehabilitation can be at the level of medical level surgical level social level educational level and vocational level anti leprosy campaign anti leprosy campaign 
it is included as a health education programs because leprosy control has a hurdle of the poor patient compliance for the consumption of drugs also to avoid the high dropout rates in the patient and family members should be educated for the need of regular treatment repeated examination of the contacts and self care is important this can be done for the leprosy how we can do this education by public education the doctor should be able to convince that leprosy is not hereditary disease so if your father mother grandfather has a leprosy it doesn't mean that you will get the leprosy don't worry it is not hereditary nor a curse of god so don't keep blind faith on the god andashraddha thevu naka okay don't keep such type of the rumors we have to take the treatment leprosy is bacterial disease like tuberculosis and is 100% curable all leprosy patients are not infectious regular and adequate treatment is very much essential to get cured and prevent the disabilities all the society members must remember that the leprosy patients always will need your sympathy and social support protection of the people at risk especially the children is very important leprosy control is not a one day job or the two day job it is a long term activity in india around 150 volunteer organizations have come up in the cause of leprosy salute in 1965 national leprosy organization come into existence in 19 55 national leprosy control programs was initiated and in 1983 it was converted into an eradication program indian government has declared the eradicate leprosy by the year 2000 ad there are many hurdles to fulfill the dream of eradication some of them are long and variable incubation period disputed modes of transmission presence of subclinical cases which are difficult to detect absence of vaccine tendency to hide the disease due to the social and cultural taboos so my dear friends i hope that we have discussed this particular leprosy problem in extension and i hope that you have learned a lot about this leprosy disease which is typical bacterial infection 100% a cure is there so give the proper education to the people make them aware how their immunity is important how they protect themselves from the uh, getting the attack of leprosy and also one most important thing you must tell them that there are now 100% curable drugs like for example adapson is there rifampicin is there clofazimine is there only and also rifampicin and clofazimine are uh, costly i agree but the poor people must visit to the government hospitals where everything is free of cost only 5 rupees case paper but if you take this governmental support you will not get any disability there is not a problem of social taboo so you must be confident that my disease is not my problem it is not also god's curse but i will take the proper scientific treatment and i will be successful in my life although i will get the leprosy so thank you very much for your patience hearing i request all of you please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel ayurveda academy we will see you in the afternoon for the next lecture of charaka uttarardh thank you very much and all the best